Hello, welcome to the editing tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be going over three plugins and the effects I use and how to use some of them. Three plugins will be Magic Bullet Looks, Universe, and then Sapphire. And I will show how to do a chat reaction as a bonus effect at the end of all of this. So, yay. Um, for Magic Bullet Looks, it's not that hard. It's just finding settings that you like. So, yeah. Um, one I use, one effect that I use for, like, bright CCs is exposure. Exposure, the one setting. Pretty simple. Makes it brighter. I usually use this in PvP CCs. I, like, put it to point 0.1 or something. Then, diffusion. Diffusion's pretty simple. It's like the glowy effect. Um... I put grade to 6, maybe I'll put it to 3, or maybe I'll put it to 2, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, cool effect, I recommend using this effect in your CC. Uh, this is the section, lens, and magic bolt looks that I use the most. This is the first effect I use in this, vignette, I think that's how you pronounce it. It adds the dark edges on this. This is, I'm pretty sure this is just a normal Vegas and the Sapphire plugin. So if you don't have magic bolt looks, uh, you can still use vignette. Next one I use is anamorphic flare. Anamorphic flare is like this glowy thing, I guess. I don't know what it really is. I use this on my text to give it a glowy effect. So yeah, you can use it on CCs, of course, but I don't really use it. Chromatic aberration. This effect is actually in universe. Um. Last time I used the universe effect was a long time ago, like a very long time ago, probably when I got 7.95. <laughs> so, yeah, whenever I use chromatic aberration, I always use magic bullet looks one. Edge softness is the blur on the edge. Lens distortion, it does this cool effect. Sometimes I'll use it on shakes or something cool. And then the last one, probably my more favorite effect haze slash flare this one you've probably seen in a lot of cc's before a lot of like editors use this effect i'm pretty sure and yeah it adds a cool glowy thing like this really cool effect i really recommend using for cc's you can also make it brighter but usually i'll keep it a little low on bridging cc's give it a little blue texture not too much this is the first effect i really like saw on universe and i was just talking about this in magic bolt looks the master distortion this is like kind of what i'm talking about like it has all these weird settings and stuff like look at all of this i don't want to deal with all this so i don't really i don't do this much uni.ecto you've probably heard of this and if you haven't heard of it you've probably seen it uh it adds the glowy thing on the outside you can use it in a text uh clips whatever yeah another universe effect i use is uni.rgb separation this is an effect i do use a lot for like maybe i'll use it for like a little tiny build up or something like this one's pretty cool it it's sort of like chromatic aberration but better in my opinion this is uni.vhs um Pretty cool effect, and for my, this is my VHS, well not really my VHS, the one I use, I don't remember where I got it from, but these are the settings, I either got it from a friend or YouTube, I have no clue where I got these settings, but I really like them. Alright, Sapphire, I'm gonna be going over shakes, I'm gonna be going over three shakes, okay the first shake we're gonna go over is the default shake, I'm gonna put amplitude to 2, frequency to 20. Put motion blur on and put it all the way up to five. Animate both of these. Go out 10 frames. Uh, and yeah, just go out the, as many frames as you want to go. 10 frames might be too short for you or too long. So yeah, this is what it looks like. All right, next shake I'll, all right, the next shake I'll sh show you how to do is the Y shake. Pretty simple shake. Put X shake to zero y shake to zero and tilt shake 
to zero and put y wave amplitude put up to like 0.3 that's pretty good then go out 11 frames or something put uh, amplitude 1 to 0 and pretty basic shake okay then next shake I'll show you how to do is a tilt slash wave shake um so this is a pretty easy shake again same thing as last time put everything to zero y x and tilt zero but tilt up a little bit let's put it to put it to 6.12 I guess or just let's just put it to six let's uh, animate this and we'll go out about that much like 30 31 frames That's a bit fast, so usually I'll put the frequency to 5, maybe 6. So this is the wave thing, or the tilt. And another thing you can do is you can add your Y shake on it. And now it looks like this. It's a cool shake, and I use this shake a lot. So, yeah. So that's how you do a shake. All right, this is a, just a quick bonus effect to do the chat reaction. You can use it for a lot of other effects for masking and stuff. So yeah, what do you want to do? Uh, go to where you want the chat reaction to start. Uh, left click the clip, hold control, drag down. And you have two clips now. Press this button right here. Click mask, rectangle. Select how much of it you want. So let's do like that. So now you have that. So that's pretty cool. And now what you do is you take S underscore blur remote curves. Keyframe this. I used to go up two frames. Put this to 0.34. Put this to 0.342. And now, let's turn the Zest, I'll put it to 0.6, and there you go. But, as you can see, it's not really perfectly centered, so you f you can mess around with the Shift X and Shift Y for that and stuff to find it. So that's basically how you do the chat reaction. You can add different effects on it too. Go to S underscore blur motion, uh, put that on the bottom clip, <clears throat> add to cool blur in the background. Also drop shadow to give it kind of like a shadowy look on the outside of it so that's how you do this chat reaction and yeah that's it